my jet loss was coming off my four years jet loss was coming off i lost 20 at the spot <laughs> hi there welcome to my channel thank you all for your support thank you all for your love if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please what are you waiting for subscribe and tell your friends to also subscribe to this channel thank you all for the hundred subscribers i'm really grateful let's grow this channel together i'm supposed to be sad i'm over it so let's talk about it in today's video i'm telling you how i went from looking like nasty c to adina before we start this was my four years baby this was my four years dreadlocks personally i love colors i love to color my hair i've colored green i've had wine i've had pink talk of color. i fell in love with white coloring white and i wanted to dye when i saw nasty c's zulu man in japan I started asking people where I'll get their gray hair dye. I asked a couple of friends and they gave me some professional places that I could go change my hair. But I'll call them and they'll be like, okay, your dreadlocks are too long. We can't use all the dye on your locks. Saloons in Accra didn't do my hair for me because they didn't have enough of the gray hair dye. Last two months, I had a saloon which was ready to dye my hair for me. He had he said he has white and when i got there he was so happy to see me he was so excited about the locks the saloon was so nice i had my 100 percent hope that i said i was going to come out from this saloon looking like nasty c and i was so excited about it so he told me he was going to dye my hair four times to achieve the white so i didn't really care about how many times he was going to he was going to dye it to achieve that so i sat and then he started he did the first one the bleach was burning i told him was is burning and he said that is how it's supposed to be i know that's how it's supposed to be but this one was extreme and when he said there's no problem that is how the white dye is very strong and it reacts like that so i just have to sit in for 30 minutes for him to wash the bleach your girl has to endure so i sat there he after 30 minutes he washed the first one and he bleached the second because of the first bleach may i had cuts in the hair because the second bleach was burning it was burning i didn't even lie about it i told the man is burning can we please wash it he said i have to sit for another 30 minutes before he can wash and that if he wash it will not come so i'm like okay then it's cool the reason why i was convinced it's just burning and nothing is going to happen to my hair is because when we washed the first one i thought the hair would shade because i had little undergrowth but there was no shading so i'm like oh okay then this is how it's supposed to be then let me just endure why the noise so the next 30 minutes came and he washed the bleach off there was no white so the hair was still good and he said we have to do another one again i was so tired so i came back the next day for the remaining two but the guy said my hair was so stubborn that's why when he saw my hair and the dreadlocks that's why he's saying we have to dye for four times because dreadlocks are stubborn it's hard and the dye has to enter enter inside and all that when he kept the bleach again my hair was burning this time the guy said i have to sit for four hours because my hair is stubborn and i said okay it stopped like after 30 minutes so i even forgot so i wasn't even thinking about the hair bending again after four hours when he was washing the hair my dreadlocks was coming off my four years dreadlocks was coming off i lost 20 at the spot still i didn't get the white that's the thing i didn't still get the white and i've already lost 20. i had no option the hair was i have in total in total i have 56 locks and 20 is of the other 36 remaining 
wasn't strong my hair was literally weak and damaged after the third after the third bleach and waiting for after the third bleach and waiting for four hours i was very sad but i had to motivate myself this is the time to accept it and cut it that's the best i can do for the hair i had wound i'll show you pictures I, this was how bad the hair was i damaged my hair and my scalp so i had to take the locks off to heal what the saloon guys said was there was a lot of people in the saloon who was watching the hair and probably they are witches and and they they looked into the hair and caused the hair to damage second the dye sat for um four hours four hours 30 minutes is it my fault they are riches in your salon love i had to accept the fact that i'm doing this for me i'm doing i'm cutting my locks to heal and the mistake from my side is i didn't even ask him what product to use on my hair i didn't ask any questions i was so excited what i've always wanted my hair to look like nasty sick and the healing process <laughs> this is where depression sets in because i wasn't mentally prepared to lose the hair depression knocked on my door and i opened it and it came in and it sat and i didn't kick him out i would cry in the night i would cry to myself but what didn't help was i was trying to be strong for others people would call me have you lost your hair i didn't know what to tell people i didn't go to get to come and dread loss i didn't have that energy to tell them what happened except my family who knew what happened many people were angry with me because i lost my head they didn't really know what happened and i wasn't that strong to tell anyone at that time what happened to the hair i would just laugh about it oh your hair is not looking nice i'll smile but I was dying inside. I hated that question, what happened to your hair? I didn't even want anyone to know what happened to my hair. The question was killing me. I will not eat. I was depressed. I wouldn't reply to my messages. I lost a number of people. Hair brands will not work with me again. Like they can't work with <laughs> Sakura girl. And that is where I was making my money. The whole thing didn't sit well with me. Now I'm not getting money again because I've lost my hair, which I didn't do it wholeheartedly. I'm happy I can talk about this now with this face and will not cry. My advice to you is if you go anywhere to color your hair, if you go anywhere to get your hair dyed, please ask them of the products they are going to use for your hair. It's very necessary. And if it's something you are not comfortable with, please leave please leave talk if the dye is burning please talk talk get them to wash it because it's your hair it's okay to lose your hair when you are ready to lose it than losing it because of the mistake of someone else it didn't really sit well with me and i wouldn't want you to go through what i went through i was depressed this is still me I lost my hair, I didn't lose myself. I said bye bye to depression. And he took my little advice. So this is how I went from looking like Nasty C to Adina. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video. My name is Miss Ai. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please do please like this video and subscribe and tell your friends to come like and subscribe to this channel. My 100 subscribers, I'm grateful. Let's grow this channel together. Till we meet again, bye bye.